International diplomacy is happening right here on the coast. Today, a sailor from the Royal Canadian Navy is working alongside the Naval Oceanography Mine Warfare Center. Austin Johnson brings us the story. The U.S. Navy and Royal Canadian Navy have a long history of joining forces to protect the interest of North America. That's the, tell the fish, how do I know when I'm ready to go? Here at Stennis Space Center in Hancock County, that partnership continues with the Naval Oceanography Mine Warfare Center, showing Canadian sailor Miles Dybul the equipment used for hydrography and underwater mapping. Canada and the U.S. have always been really close allies. Uh, interoperability, partnership is very important to both countries. And the opportunity to work together only strengthens that relationship. Together they launched unmanned underwater vehicles into the Pearl River. Using sonar, or sound navigation and ranging, they collected sound waves to communicate and measure distances to objects underwater. So if we have a, one of our allied ships entering a foreign port that we don't know much about, it's really important to know the environment that they're entering to ensure safety of all personnel and assets. The sailors that are a part of the Naval Oceanography Enterprise are some of the best and brightest in the Navy. And when we have an opportunity for familiarization with an allied and partner Navy, we, we really are excited to do that. Lieutenant Billy Petkovsky is with the Naval Meteorology and Oceanography Command. He says Naval Oceanography is one of Mississippi's valuable global exports, and the cooperation happening here is a testament to international diplomacy. Partnerships are very important, and we've had a long-standing partnership with the Royal Canadian Navy, and events like this where Canadian sailors and U.S. sailors can familiarize themselves with each other and with the equipment they use uh, helps to build that relationship and promote that relationship. This chance to work and train together doesn't happen often, and when it does, these sailors say the bond between Canada and the U.S. grows stronger. At Stennis Space Center, Austin Johnson, WLOX News Now.